Well, what's up, good people and Eagle fans? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, the Cowboys, of course, practicing and stuff, getting ready for the Cleveland Browns that have their own issues and problems and stuff going on. And um, Brandon Cooks has a sore knee, and I don't believe he was practicing today. Uh, definitely hope that he's going to be okay. C.D. Lamb, ooh, man. Mike McCarthy says C.D. Lamb looks jacked. And uh, I'm going to have more on the Mike McCarthy press conference. You know, for a guy that's on the hot seat, he looks pretty excited. He looks really, really excited. How crazy is it that you, as the play caller and offensive coordinator and head coach of a team that was 12-5, and five, had the number one scoring offense and had a quarterback who was runner-up MVP, and they're talking about you being on the hot seat? How, how, how crazy is that? that? That's crazy. So, John Machada, shout out to John Machada. He is the best guy out there. He has all the stuff out on X um, and so forth. He knows everything about Dak Prescott, the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones, all of the above. He just tweeted a couple minutes ago what Dak Prescott said, okay? So, we've got Jerry Jones who said, you know, this contract may not be done by, but before the start of the season. But he also said, now this is where I think at some point you just got to have to say, don't get too excited or get too upset about anything Jerry Jones says because he, he, he's full of shit. Okay? And, and as he tells you, he's the best one at handling the shit. I think he should have probably said he's the best one at talking and making up all of this shit because that's what he does. Remember, he said he was in no hurry to get C.D. Lamb done and, you know, this, that, and the other, right? So take it with a grain of salt when he says that this may not get done. Maybe he's lowering the expectation and all of a sudden, bam, he hits you with the contract being done. But here's what Dak Prescott said. He said he doesn't have to have a new contract before the season starts. Okay. Well, which bodes well if you're talking about having all of the leverage and trying to get more money. But I think it says a lot if it is or isn't done. Then the question was, what does it say if it isn't done? just how people feel i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this is where it sounds like dak prescott wants this contract to be done it sounds like he wants this thing to be done you have jerry jones who seems to say the right things about dak prescott and wanting to get it done so why aren't we getting this done let me read it again, and you tell me if I'm crazy. Well, y'all tell me I'm crazy, even if you agree with me. Dak Prescott said he doesn't have to have a new contract before the season starts, which, let's be honest, he doesn't. He's under contract until the next league year. He's going to end up getting that $55 million cap hit, which is the biggest cap hit right now in the NFL. Biggest one, okay? Right? Now, mind you, I want to remind you guys of something here, too. While we're sitting here going about how much Dak Prescott costs and everything else and get rid of him, you know, let's get somebody else in here. I want to tell you guys a little, little secret here. You know, when Denver went all in, they went all in. You know, they signed Randy Gregory because they thought he was going to be a great defensive end, that he just needed to go to a place where it was marijuana friendly. They got Russell Wilson because they said this is a guy who's won the Super Bowl and was in a second one. That this is a guy who's had 40 TD passes and had multiple years with over 30 touchdown passes. That this is a guy who's our solution. They traded multiple players and three first-round picks, among other things, to get him. Not only did they give up picks for him, for the two seasons that he was there... You don't hear anybody talk about this. This is, this is amazing to me that nobody says anything about this. When we talk about Dak Prescott costing $55 million this year, who was a runner-up MVP. Oh, no. That's terrible. 
But Denver not only paid the price of draft picks, they also paid for the two years of service for him, $124 million. That's $62 million a year it cost Denver for Russell Wilson for the two years he was there. So when I hear people say Dak cost too much, and like I was pointing out to Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson, you've heard of that guy. They restructured his $63 million contract, and so now it's a $73 million hit next year and the year after, fully guaranteed. And Deshaun Watson over the last two years, 14 TDs, nine interceptions. I don't want to hear anybody talking about Dak Prescott is overpaid. Okay? So let me say again, Dak Prescott said he doesn't have to have a new contract before the season starts. But I think it says a lot if it is or isn't. What does it say if it's not done, Dak? Just how people feel. So I think what you're hearing is, is Dak Prescott literally putting it down that if you don't get this done before the season starts, that basically says you don't really want me and I need to make other plans. You better put a ring on it if you want them. So, yeah, Dak Prescott, he's just dropped the bomb on the Cowboys, basically saying nicely. See, this is the thing. This isn't Russell Wilson when he said, if you don't have a contract for me by April 15th, I will never sign a contract with you. See, that's how Russell Wilson rolled with it with the Seattle Seahawks. Dak Prescott just said very nicely. I don't have to have one. It's okay. It says a lot, though, if you don't. And it's how you feel. And let's be clear here. If you are Dak and the Dallas Cowboys, let me say this again. If you are Dak and the Dallas Cowboys, it behooves both of you to do this before the season starts. The reason, and I know people are going to say, you're just saying that because you're a Dak Prescott fan and you don't want to see him leave because you're not really about the Cowboys. You're really about Dak Prescott. No. Here, understand. I think Dak would be willing to say, okay, you're making some moves right now. You're trying to load up this team better late than never. You know, I, I don't necessarily have to be the highest paid but you know i want some respect out there you know how about we do this 55 million you know just like the other guys and structure it so it's team friendly maybe it's 55.1 maybe it's even you know what i'll go 53 if you go out there and get me another swing tackle but if the cowboys wait and risk Dak Prescott signing with another team. And I don't know that, honestly, looking at the landscape when we talk about you know, going to the Steelers or Minnesota. I'm sorry, not Minnesota. Um, going to New York or, or the Raiders. That not necessarily is going to help you get to a ring. Because sometimes it seems like those places are just places right now that careers are going to die. But if you're the Cowboys, it might save you $5 million a year. Just because of the natural progression of contract. You don't know. Kansas City may come out now with a new contract for Pat Mahomes to go ahead and get ahead of this thing. You know, Buffalo might decide, hey, let's go ahead and get Josh Allen done because we know we're going to have new money later. And now all of a sudden, 55 might be 60 as the going rate. And the top might be 65, which is kind of what Denver paid the last two years. And pales by comparison to what Deshaun Watson is going to cost next year. So we'll see what we're going to see. But I got some work to do here. I've got to uh, see if I can get this. Uh, I had to get a replacement computer for the one that I got yesterday. It had some issues that they said, hmm, that shouldn't be doing that. A uh, software issue. So um, we're going to be trying to restart that one and see if I can set it up and at least get the new setup here and then exchange the computers when I go back home 
uh, in a couple of days and stuff. So we'll be testing out the new stuff here, guys. But as always, you 